So let's talk about our last, my last <laughs> encounter for this particular episode. So um, we, I, I, I say I, uh, do you guys remember Louis? You remember Louis? I remember him. He was in what episode, honey? Uh, 27? He was in two episodes. Two episodes so far. Yeah. So we met Louie and we had an amazing meet and greet and then play date. And then we had a second amazing MFM and play date with Louie. So Louie and I have been chatting. And um, at one point in time, he uh, asked me if I was available during the day. And I said, Yes, I was. And so he and I um, concocted a little afternoon play date, but I didn't tell Tristan. So, um, but that was a calculated move. I didn't not tell Tristan because I was doing something cheaty or down low or anything like that. Um, Do you want to share with our listeners what you always had told me one of your fantasies was? Actually, I think I've already said this. Probably. One or two we're going to remind the podcast, them. But to remind everybody, one of my fantasies is, had always been, had always been uh, to um, come home and find that my lovely wife had been naughty during the day and then have her tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so, um, so I didn't tell Tristan that I was going out with Louie. And uh, Louie and I actually had um, a whole afternoon date set up and I went over to his house and we um, met and we had an amazing amount of afternoon sex. Um, It was great. It was so great. So if you guys remember, Louis is called Louis because he is a very well endowed man. And uh, Louis is for short for Louisville Slugger. <laughs> He's a very well endowed man. And the couple of times that we had been with him, uh, by the time he and I got to the bed, he was rock hard and he was very, he is very large. And uh, I could never fully give him a job because he was already hard when we got together and I could never get him in my mouth. And so I wanted to attack him (laughs) before he was fully hard so that I could have him in my mouth and have that experience. So that was, I'm sure, the primary motivator (laughs) as to why uh, I set up or we set up this particular um, play date, Louie and I did. So we had an amazing time and I went over and met him and we had uh, a few, actually, I think just one afternoon little uh, cocktail. And then I had a big <laughs> cocktail <laughs> and I met my goal. In case y'all were not wondering, um, it, it was tough and we had to move fast. <laughs> Because once we hit the bedroom door, the threshold, the uh, the clock started, and I had to basically throw him down on bed, rip his pants off, and get his in my mouth as fast as I could. And I did, and he got hard, and then I could hardly keep him in my mouth. And so, um, but that was super hot and super exciting. And then, um, and then we had a massive amount of sex, and I tend to score with him, which is just bizarre. Because he's so big, there's like no way for me to come, but he knows how to handle his dick. And so he pulls out at the right moment and makes me squirt everywhere. So um, so we promptly soaked all his bed sheets. And then we went to lunch because that's what people do. <laughs> so we went to a late lunch and it was great. We had a great time. Uh, and then we went back to his house for an and a second around two, so to speak. Um, so by this time, we're getting to um, coming home time and Tristan was at work. And so um, you texted me mm-hmm. and said, I'm on my way home. Oh, Tristan has a screenshot of this set of texts. 
Oh, Tristan has it all set up on his phone already. <laughs> so Tristan texted me at five o'clock, five o nine. He says on my way, and I texted him on my way. What? But on my way, and With he said, kissy emoji kissy and the little heart emojis because I'm an emoji kind of guy. <laughs> so i'm gonna here we can't really show it. no i can't i know but like so i'm gonna show we're literally looking at the text with a partial picture there so tristan texts me and says on my way with his kissy face and his heart emoji and i text him back i'm not home dot 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 and then i sent him a picture uh that louis had taken for us of me sucking Louis. <laughs> Now, what was important at this, I forgot about the Well, and what this, you can also see are your your oh, beautiful yeah. breasts. Yeah, my tits are hanging down. Yeah, so it's, it's, really nicely. Yeah. it's a, it it's a, a great, picture. that's a really hot picture. It's a good picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyways, um, what had happened, I forgot to preface the story, on our second NFL <laughs> date <laughs> at, um, at Louis' house, I had lost an earring and I didn't even know it. And a couple of days later, I was like, oh, dang, I, I don't have an earring, like, or maybe even that night, who knows, I don't have an earring, whatever. And a couple of days later, he had texted me and said, hey, is this yours? And I said, yes, this is my earring. Um, so yay. So I had told Tristan, oh, Louis found my earring. Um, great. That was it in passing. It was like, yay whatever so when tristan texted and said i'm on my way home and i said i'm not home and i sent him a picture of me second louis i said i'm picking up my earring <laughs> and and your response was, so and actually my screenshot don't doesn't capture this but my response was was it under his balls because <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> it looks like I'm looking under his ball while he's digging in my mouth. This big old Louisville slugger digging in my mouth. Like, see, that was choking. I'm sure that was legit. Yeah, no, I know. That's that what I'm saying. It happens. Choking. It happens. It does happen. Yeah. So yeah, his my earring was under his balls. Look, how was I supposed to know? I had to go look for it. It was a good earring, which I ended up losing two year, three years later. Besides the story, that's a whole other story. But, uh, but yeah. So, um, so yeah. So I said I probably didn't even answer. Did I answer? I don't remember. I probably yeah. did not yeah. even answer. I just like yes, I got a buttercup. So uh, I continued to f Louis, and we had an amazing second round uh, hot play date, and I was spent. That man, I still wish I played with him. Was such a great. We had an amazing time, but there was a lot of connection there and we were good chemically and physically. And, um, you know, it was just, it was a lot of fun. So, but that was the very first time. And I was terrified. I was terrified to do this, by the way, I want you guys to know this. I was so worried and so anxious that Tristan was going to be so offended and mad and all i kept thinking was he he's told me many many times that this would be okay and i'm a hot wife and i can do whatever that i want but my goal is never to hurt the person that i love so i i just wasn't sure was this really going to hurt him or was this really what he wanted and there's no way to find out until you try it and he had been with us I mean, we had been with Louis twice before mm -hmm. that. So I felt like it was a pretty good um, person to try this out with. And the situation was right. Everything was right. It was, you know, it happened naturally. It wasn't really thought out. Uh, it probably happened within the day or the day before. Um, so there wasn't much thought to it, but it was really fucking hot. And it was really, I, I have to tell you, my heart was racing and jumping out of my chest when I knew you were close to texting me that you were coming home. And I never said anything. Like, we'd been together for three hours before that. And I never said a word. <clears throat> and I was just so um, anxious about you texting and that you were coming home. <laughs> and then I was going to tell you that I wasn't. I'm not there. I'm busy f***ing somebody else. So how was that for you? Well, and so what you just said is, is very important, which is you don't know how it's going to feel until it actually happens. And so same for me. 
And, you know, yeah, I had told you that for years. That years. That would, like even way before the lifestyle. Oh, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. when I mean, we this... were just like pretending to be, you know, fantasies. And your, yeah. my fan, yeah, a couple other fantasies you have. We can talk about those too. But yeah, that was always one of them. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so, and then, but then once we were in the lifestyle and we realized that we love the MFM dynamic and you love being with single men, I love you being with single men and whether I'm there or not, um, this, this wasn't the first time that you were alone. In fact, there have been several instances where you were alone with, with playmates, but this is the first time that, um, that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And, and I had told you over and over that this was a fantasy of mine. And so, so in the same way that you didn't know how it was going to go for you, I didn't know how it was going to go for me. And so as I was driving, you got no warning because I didn't tell you because I was exactly, exactly, exactly. And so as I'm driving home, you know, it's a real dual edged sword and it's, you know, there were a lot of mixed emotions. And um, on the one hand, I was incredibly aroused and excited. But on the other hand, my FOMO kicked in big time because I had been in the other, you know, the other two times we had had amazing MFMs. And so I'm like, gosh, I wish I was there. You know, so it was, it was more because I was missing out on something. Mm -hmm. And so, but at the end of the day, as I, as I'm weighing, you know, these scales of FOMO versus, wow, this is really hot. The, wow, this is really hot one. And so um, it was really exciting. And when you, and so I got home first and I waited and you weren't that far behind. And no, but that was definitely by design. Babe. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> and when you got home. Um, we went in the bedroom and we lay on the bed together and you told me all about it and all the details. And then we, and then, so then I went down on you and you came right away okay. and then you came again and then I fucked you and you, came, and, yeah. and then, yeah. And then we gather. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it was, it was, it was hot and we had, and then again later that night we talked about it some more and we had more great sex and yeah it was yeah it was really hot yeah yeah that was hot <laughs> it was um i don't know that we could have planned something better and had <laughs> we planned it it wouldn't have been as impactful right yeah yeah and it was it the way it worked out was really was really perfect because it had been it was with somebody that you knew yeah that i knew and so I trusted. you you could even visualize yeah. that that was even the, the bed yeah, been in this house yeah. twice and right. so i could i could see you right, right right you knew the bed we were in you mm. knew where i was looking for the earring besides under his balls <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so i knew you could visualize mm -hmm. all of that and um so much different than being in the hot wife dynamic when, or well, so much better, different when I was in Virginia, which I had explained everything to you, but this was something you could put yourself there mm -hmm. in that scenario. Yet you, you weren't there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was really, it was really hot. Yeah. And, it, it was. and Louis was happy to oblige yeah. by the way. He, yeah. And to this day, I mean, this is like, this is one of the hottest. Yeah. Yeah. And it encounters that, we have had and i say we even though i wasn't there it, i was part of it right and you made me part of it mm -hmm. and, and which is you know that's part of how we come together right is by you telling me you know when you're with somebody separately i become a part of it when you tell me about it and then we reconnect i love that piece mm -hmm. because i love the autonomy to do what i want be what i want whenever I want and you've always been like yeah absolutely go do conquer or whatever and you've always been so supportive and we've always had the agreement and you've always said just tell me but part of that fun is being able to come home and tell you part of that part of our connection part of a, a way of us having a moment within that experience is coming and sharing that with you but i think that that is because you love hearing it mm -hmm. you love knowing every detail i'll walk in the door and tristan's like okay what was the first thing nope don't tell me about having sex yet what was the very first thing you did i'm like well he took my hand he's like oh yeah then what happened I'm like well we walked to the to the sofa <gasps> then what happened on the sofa 
You know, and he wants to know every like he did he touch your shirt? Did he like slip his hand anywhere? Like he wants to know every detail. And so sometimes I have to try and remember every detail. And I'm not great at that because y'all know, like as soon as I start having sex, my mind turns off. But um, so I try my best. But I think that that's a great way for us because I don't I love sharing those details with you because you are just as excited about hearing those details almost almost as much as being there. I mean, you really I know you love being there and that's a dynamic that we enjoy. But I know that you also enjoy that other piece if you mm-hmm. can't be or and if I choose to be with somebody else. Yeah. Which has happened even recently uh, when we were uh, uh, out of town a couple of weeks ago uh-huh. <laughs> last month. And I was able to meet up with one of my friends and I was able to tell you all those details. And it was like, nope, don't start in the middle. Start at the beginning. What happened when you walked in the door? He wants to know. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and that's, I don't that's, know. That's not an exact. Okay. That's not an it's not. It is not. You like you love to know every little bit. And so that's my way of, of saying thank you is trying to remember all those details because you love them. Um, What's interesting, and we've talked about this many times, but it doesn't, the ratchet doesn't turn the other direction. For me, it does not. And so one of those nights that we're talking about, I was with one of my friends. Yes. And so we were in the same hotel, playing separate rooms. And and, um, you didn't want to hear one bit of my experience. I had an amazing experience that you didn't want to know anything about. Nope. Oops. I asked, I said, did you have a nice time? Yeah, that's. And I, I said, yes. And I said, that is great. <laughs> that's all I need to know. Yeah. Yep. That, but that's my, that's what I need to know. I don't need to know anymore. I want to know that you had a good time, that you were happy. And that's all I need. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry if it doesn't. I need the details. <laughs> I know. I know you do. And I don't mind sharing the details. I'm sorry if you would like to share the details with me and I don't want to hear them. And eventually, let's be honest, and in a, a year or so, <laughs> I might say to you, hey, whatever happened with that? Mm-hmm. I might. I might not. You won't. I've asked I before. I've asked before. I have asked before. That's all right. It, whatever it is. It's not my bag. Yeah, this, no, it, this is not this is not unusual. I've but, never, but you know what? I, as you say that, I've never really thought about that. Would I? I would love to talk to you about that, about all the details. I know, I know that you're not interested because I don't really yeah. have, I don't have anybody to talk to about the details. Sorry, and, um, I don't want to hear it. I know, and neither does Crimson. And so, nope. Um, I'm not sure that maybe not all women. I mean, there I are mean, women who enjoy that. Or I would say I'm. I'm going to guess that m- most. Don't, but I, I could be I think wrong. you're probably right. You could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to know that you're happy. You had a good time. I said, go forth and be with her, this particular person. I was the one that said, go. Yes, find her. Go be. Yes, go do. Did you have a good time? Had an awesome time. There you go. So I'm happy. Bye.